Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a conversation that someone has had with Mars Girl. So, Kaylin is back at it on social media. She won't talk to you even if you're nice to her. She won't help you understand her views either. I've never actually talked to her here or on Facebook until today. It's white out because I don't share my real name here. I stand with Vic had to repost. And this, what she's done, she's actually posted the conversation she has had with her. So it goes on with this. So from Mars Girl, it's absolutely an area code. Two. I ask friends for help so that my lawyers can do work and not for any information to be, re to be revealed to the public. If anything, someone I thought I trusted ended up not being trustworthy and shared my private and locked post to the rest of the world. I never asked a fan to do a single thing. That was shared among people that are my friends. People I have worked with, shared meals with, played games in each other's houses with. But nah, facts don't matter anymore, I guess. So with that one straight away... Alright, fair enough, you know, whoever shared this, again, Kaylin, you know, she thought you were her friend, but you've done this, and I'd, I'd be pissed as well if one of my friends, well, I thought as a friend, shared private information like they did. However, with her saying here, I ask friends for help so that my lawyers can do work, not for any information to be re revealed to the public. So she's saying she never asked a fan to do a single thing, but she does actually say in that private post that can someone help find out who this person is. Which is basically, you know, can you just dock them for me, find out who it is. But again, we wouldn't have found out if this so-called friend didn't post them. And we got them more. Just because you didn't outright say it doesn't mean you didn't imply it. You need to get your head out of your ass and face the light. You're so terribly effed right now that by this very time next year you'll be reduced to absolutely nothing. Your fan base has dwindled down to nothing and you can no longer ride off the shirt tails of someone who is in the same boat as you. Karma is a bitch who doesn't play well with people like you. Good luck on trying to get back in good graces with people. Isn't it going to happen easily? I don't owe a conversation to everyone who just wants to start a fight with me. Running again, if you are so innocent, stand up and have a polite debate instead of running like a coward. People like you are looking for fights, not debates. Well, no, actually, because Mars Girl, she, you know, these, the people who are trying to debate with her, they normally end up fighting because of Mars Girl and people like her. And the way they just try and, well, they rile people up, they bait them, and then once they say something, they're like, ah, oh, God, you got you, that's it now. People like you are looking for people looking for fights, not debates. Mars girl, no, not true. I'm more than willing to debate it, but you've deleted almost every comment I've made that challenges you to think and you've blocked me on Twitter. As far as I'm concerned, you are just wanting the attention even though this is probably the worst possible way for you to get it. If you don't want to debate, fine, but don't complain when your bullshit isn't believed and don't complain when no one follows you anymore. No. It's actually you that are looking for fights. You're the one that's accusing Vic without any proof of him doing these things you said he did. Mars Girl comes back with, I actually haven't. Now if one of my other admins did that, well I assume they did that for my health. I don't owe you a fight. Right, okay. Boy, not everything is about Vic. Go outside or something. This is coming from a girl now who... She literally spends nearly every single waking hour on Twitter. You know, her and Renfamous and all these few other people. This is all they're doing. They, they just constantly sit on Twitter and they argue. Mars Girl, I never even talked to you on, to you one Twitter, but obviously on. That's the thing, and no one here is starting a fight with you. We're telling you to stand up and talk and not run away. I don't like you, but I'll give you a hint. If you want people to believe you, if you want people to listen, stop treating us like trash, stop starting fights and stop running away when you don't have an argument. That's what we are telling you. Not everyone who talks to you is looking for a fight. 
Just because someone doesn't like you doesn't mean they don't want to talk and learn why you think the way you do. Stop making your followers and those who don't agree with you out to be stupid or ignorant, because that is not the case. Marzal comes back with, you are not owed a conversation. And you know, yeah, this is exactly true, Mars Gill, and that right there is why everyone is ganging up on you. You treat those who are kind to you like we're vermin of the street. The only person here I see that needs to reevaluate themselves is you. Damn, you really need to learn. And she said, Mars Gill again, bye. As they always do, they always say that when you know, when someone's having to go with them and they're saying logical things, they just end up going, alright, oh, get lost, bye, or they block you or whatever. I mean seriously, I'm trying to help you and you're spitting in my face. After all the bullshit, I've still tried and you still act like this. Marsgill, you seriously won't learn till you've got nothing left, will you? Fine. I tried. Good luck. You're going to need it. With all of these, I totally agree with this person 100%. Everything she has tried, and you can see right by there as well. Quite a few people have tried having a conversation with... Mars Girl with Renfamous and a few other people. However, they don't want to, to just talk to you. They, because this is what they're used to doing, baiting people, riling them up, you know, getting them angry or whatever, so they do, do or say stupid things. They're just so used to doing that, that that's what, they, that's what they do when they go online. If someone's trying to have a nice or pleasant conversation or a healthy debate with them, they automatically go to that instinct of, right, I need to attack this person, now I don't care. And that's what they do. It's a sad way to be, and it's a sad way to be online as well. Because, again, as Kick Vic rightfully keeps saying to people, which is stupid because they're the ones who keep doing the opposite, everything on the internet is going to stay on the internet. You may delete it, but it's still going to be there. And they keep saying this, even though they're the ones with the, the, the most dodgiest pasts, you know? They say about tweets, they delete tweets. And then they say, oh, no, I haven't done anything that. You show them a tweet, oh, that's not mine, it's fake. And you just... They just like arguing, that's exactly what they like doing. And this video right now shows exactly what Mars Girl is like. This person, she was trying to have a healthy debate with her. She was trying to talk to her nicely as well, and just trying, you know... Let's have a conversation. But just thinking, well, I'm thinking now about this. If my, if anyone saw Mars Girl in real life and they tried having a conversation with her about anything like this, how would she react? Would she react better than what she does online? Mostly because obviously it's face to face and you can see what the person is and you can see what, you know, the body language and everything else. And I personally think if you met her in real life, and you tried having a conversation, she would try and probably get people to gang up on you or who are with her. Like, yeah, there we are, get rid of them, or get them thrown out or something like that. That's personally what I think would happen. But, again, I hopefully I'm wrong, because we need to stop having to go at people, at, well, each other online. You know, all this body shaming shit that's been going on. Guys, please, come on, don't do it. It's not nice, and... The people, you know, you're body shaming these other people. It's making you almost as bad as them. We don't do that, come on. That's not what I stand with Vickers about. It's not about body shaming. It's not about having arguments with people. It's just basically, show us this, show us that. If Vic is wrong and, you know, he has done these things, and fine, that's it. We're on the opposite side. He needs to go to prison if he has done these things. That's what we're about and this is what we need to try and get to. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you soon.